Hello again! OpenMW version 0.18 has been released. Let's have a look at what's new. First of all, we have the splash screens that display as you were loading a new game working now. They are a little difficult for me to capture in real time, but they look something like this. There is also a loading bar that appears near the bottom of the screen during cell transitions. After we reach version 1.0, we plan on working on some sort of preemptive loading mechanism to smooth out these transitions through exterior cells. You might notice the complete absence of a giant black void as you first step out of the census and excise office in Sedanin. Markers like this are now hidden in the game world. Previously, options were missing from the control section of the settings menu. This version brings us a rewrite of the engine's input system that, as one benefit, allows us the luxury of customizing keyboard and mouse bindings. We now have a functional hotkey menu. Only a fool would dare venture into the perils of Vardenfell without setting up quick access to all of his or her favorite weapons and spells. The player's body is now visible in the inventory preview pane along with the head preview for the race selection portion of the character creation process. Currently, these images will only display the default Dunmer male and will not update according to actual race and appearance choices arrived. of the player. Obviously, this functionality is on its way, but the current workaround is to simply play as the default Dunmer male. Happy roleplaying! Door markers now appear on the local map and mini-map. These are helpful for quickly finding a particular building in a town or in scanning for the entrance to some obscure grotto or cavern in the middle of Vivek knows where. Magic users will be glad to know that OpenMW no longer neglects the economy of spell trade and now features a spell buying window. Now go, keep the Mages Guild in business. No RPG would be complete without a working leveling system. The player's ability to level up and the level up dialogue are now implemented. The player may now consume ingredients directly in order to obtain the magic effects corresponding to each one. Well, at least the magic effects that are implemented so far. The use of keys has now been implemented. Locked containers and doors may now be opened by the player, provided they have the correct key in their inventory. The scripting instructions for the creation and movement of objects are now functional. The syntax is the same as vanilla Morrowind, so try it out for yourself if you like. Obviously, these types of instructions aren't typically used in normal gameplay, but they are used extensively behind the scenes and bring the project closer to a fully playable release. Well, that's about it for now. We've begun implementing the parts of our engine that handle AI, so we are that much closer in giving our NPCs the much-needed spark of life. These are certainly exciting times in the world of OpenMW. If you're just now hearing about the project and have questions, you might like to view the FAQ that's Frequently Asked Questions video on our YouTube channel. Otherwise, please visit the official website and forums at openmw.org for more information, and subscribe to this channel for future updates.